the canon tells us that after the Buddha's awakening, he surveyed the world and saw beings on fire, the fires of passion, aversion, delusion. That's one of the reasons why he decided to teach, because he'd been able to put out his fires. That's why he was able to see them so clearly. They say that after gaining awakening, he hesitated for a while, thinking about how subtle the Dharma was, how hard it was for him to find it, how hard it would be for other people to accept it. Sampati Brahma was concerned, so he came down and invited the Buddha to teach, reminding him there are people with only a little dust in their eyes and they would benefit from hearing the Dharma. And so when the Buddha confirmed that with his own knowledge, then he decided to teach. So it was not a pure compassion. He didn't have to teach. The commentaries get all upset about this incident, saying he really was determined to teach. He just was waiting for the proper invitation. But I think the story illustrates the principle that once you're fully awakened, you have no debts to anyone. You're not obligated to do anything. What you give to the world is a pure gift. And so the Buddha's pure gift was the Dharma. So we should take it on as a pure gift. As the Buddha said, you benefit most from the Dharma when you practice the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. You look at your own passion, aversion, and delusion, and you decide, well, let, how can I use the Dharma to get rid of these things? And in the course of doing that, you're going to help not only yourself, but also the people around you. Because it involves becoming more generous, more virtuous. That's going to be good for the world. It's going to require more goodwill as you get a deeper and deeper understanding of what true happiness means and how it's going to be found. And that way you're in a better and better position to help other people find true happiness too. But the best work in the world is attacking, attacking the problem at the cause and not cleaning up the messes afterwards. This is what the Buddha said, the greatest gift is the gift of the Dharma. As people can take that on, they can straighten out their minds. And when their minds are straightened out, they're not going to be doing or saying or thinking things that are going to be harmful. Because once the harm has been let out into the world, and all you're doing is cleaning up afterwards, it's going to keep on coming. It's like having a hole in your boat. The water is coming in, and you just keep bailing the water out, bailing the water out, without thinking about fixing the hole. As long as you're strong enough to keep bailing, things are fine. But then when you get tired, then the boat will begin to sink. So tackle the problem at the cause, inside your own mind. As John Swat used to say, each of us in the world has one person. In other words, the one person who you're responsible for, and that's you. You can influence other people as you may, may try to, and they sometimes will pick up your influence and sometimes not. But it's best if you take care of your own work inside. That way you speak from knowledge, and your behavior is an example. A lot of times people don't listen to words, they look at the actions. So try to make sure your actions really are compassionate. And that comes from training your mind to be compassionate, training your mind to try to clean out its passion, aversion, and delusion. And it's in this way that all the confusion in the world gets straightened out. 